You heard me last week uh, when I had uh, um, an engagement with the American Chamber of Commerce. We had a big meeting with many companies, American companies, Amazon, Google, MasterCard, and the rest of them. And we're trying to reposition our country to not only be a tech hub, but also to increase our foreign direct investment. It is good for you to know that, yes, we can grow our country using our taxes. Yes, we can add on to that the money that we can borrow from multilateral and other bilateral uh, engagements. But much more importantly, beyond what we can raise, what we can do with our taxes, beyond what we can do with money that we borrow, we must also position ourselves so that with the private sector, we can bring in foreign direct investment. That way, we can use private sector money to grow our industries. We can use private, private sector money to position um, uh, companies that bring value to our country, that bring investment to our country, that bring manufacturing uh, opportunities to our country. That way, we benefit from number one, jobs that come with it. Um, one of the um, um, uh, companies that we signed in last uh, Thursday was Moderna that is going to invest $500 uh, million dollars in Kenya. We, in fact, in total, we signed in to companies that are going to bring us close to 100,000 jobs in Kenya just last Thursday. And they are going to establish the facilities that they are going to do, not using our taxes, not using our borrowed money, but they're going to use their own resources. What we get is jobs for our young people. We also get taxes from uh, whatever it is that they are doing. And of course, we position our country as a hub for manufacturing, for IT uh, technology, and many other things. And for us to effectively do that, we need you guys in the diaspora to continue to be good ambassadors for Kenya so that everybody anywhere in the world can know that 
if this uh, gentleman or this lady comes from Kenya and we can see her work is outstanding, Kenya must be a place that I can invest in. So you, please, I am asking you, let me repeat this again. As you do whatever it is that you're doing, just know that you're not just doing it for yourself or for your family, you're doing it for your country as well. So um, I am very happy to be uh, here this afternoon. Um, and, and I want to promise you that uh, we will continue to push the agenda for the transformation of our country. Let me tell you that we have a great country. Let me repeat, we have a great country. I am, I am very proud of our country and I am confident that Kenya is going to move to a new level. Just so that you know, um, I know uh, you've said we should, we should manage issues and, and I agree with you. Part of managing our issues is not just to be able to collect tax, but we must also look after that tax. It must not be stolen, it must not be lost, it must not be wasted. It must be used for the right thing. And part, part of the big drive that you see, and I was talking about it yesterday when I went to one of the universities, is to digitize government services and to leverage on technology to make sure that we make government efficient, we make, we make government accountable. When we deal in cash, the possibility of pilferage and theft and corruption is too big. But when we digitize, be able to collect our, our resources on a digital platform, uh, it, it reduces incidences of, uh, of pilgrimage. Let me tell you that six months ago when I took over, we had only 320 government services that were digitized. It is my intention that in the next six months, all government services will be digitized and will be available online.